New at five today, one local family grieving two deadly hit and runs. This is now the second deadly hit and run crash involving their loved one in two months. Katrina Weber shows us what is being done in this latest case to catch a killer. But he was a good hearted person, but he was also a hard man, like old school. He was real old school. He was the only father I've ever had. Now, John Aldarete is mourning the man who helped raise him. 58-year-old Samuel Arellano was hit while riding his bike across historic old Highway 90 near South San Joaquin, August 30th. He died three days later. This week, Crime Stoppers released photos of the pickup that hit him with the goal of tracking down the driver. Didn't even consider what he was doing, you know, that like you couldn't really, you couldn't have stopped or at least called the ambulance. Aldorete, who is preparing for the arrival of a new baby, feels caught between celebrating one life and mourning the loss of another. It's really a lot, you know, to deal with. What happened out here was actually pain on top of pain for the family. Arellano's death was actually the second loss for the family in as many months. Back in June, we covered a crash that killed Aldorete's brother Roy. San Antonio police told us it stemmed from a gun battle. People in two cars shooting at each other near West Martin and Northwest 24th Street. The car veered off and he was sitting in a ditch, minding his business. Ironically, we spoke to Arellano at that time, not knowing he soon would also be killed. Uh, I'm going to miss my dad. Aldarate says he hopes police will solve both cases soon. In the meantime, he says his pain has given him a new perspective about how precious life is. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Life is precious. San Antonio police say both cases are still open investigations. Anyone with information on the truck in that video or about either crash asked to call Crime Stoppers at 210-224-STOP.